hello guys welcome back and uh this is a demo video of what you'll be looking at in the course so yeah we made a course that uh works on teams there's a team management course so what this does is what you learn in the project is how you're going to make these buttons routed like this that's pretty easy then we also look at how to customize this new theme we also look at the new added features, which are the roles, the role permissions. So what roles and role permissions are, these are automatically generated uh, tables that are generated whenever you come to make roles and choose a dynamic roles. This is a new additive that was made in the latest update of PHP RAD. And also we have, what we be looking at, we'll be looking at how we're going to make tasks. Also, how we're going to make this master relationship table. We look at how you are going to make this progress table. We also look at how you make this from pending. Uh, let's say if you make an edit here and change it from pending to finished and you update that. Let's just add something there. So just appears for the sake of this changes from the red to the green we also look at that we will also look at the ranking system for this how to make this it should be pretty easy for you because you uh, i bet you explored the php rad and we'll also be looking at some uh, uh page events which is the insert record and the update record this is what we're needing for this project we also look at how we are going to allow, how we are going to filter groups, right? So you see we have team A and we have team B. So what we need to do is that if a user is registered under a team called A, that user is only going to see tasks that are made, that are assigned to that team A. And if that user is registered to team B, all right, let me switch this from team A to team B. If that user is registered to team B, he is going to only view whatever uh, task that is assigned to team B. So watch here carefully. As you can see, he's only viewing team B now. Earlier he was viewing team A, as you can see here. We also allow the user to make a progress of how they're doing the project. So we can say maybe this user uh, the team manager is about to finish up this project All right so we're going to select that is team B and we're also going to make the progress to finished and set this to finished okay so as you can see the progress is full and the status is finished all right now lastly what we want to do is that we want to manage commenting of the, the task members or the group members or the teammates of that team we want them to comment on uh, the task here and only those uh, teammates can only can comment to that task what we'll do is that we will integrate discuss commenting to php that which is pretty awesome i guess because it allows us to filter comments automatically without us having to write the logic for that right so as you can see this comment is empty reason being there's no comment for this from this team what if we change from team b to team a which i had made a comment earlier which from team a let's change from team b to team a here and let's update that as you can see in the previous tasks we didn't have a comment so let's open this up and let's see if we have a comment here. There you go. As you can see, there's a comment for that table. And it allows us to view that login with different platforms. And we can actually follow up on the comments using discuss definitely. What we, uh, we want to do here is that you can actually see what we are working on here, right? So this is the task forum and uh, we can see the number of comments for that. and we can also follow up the uh, top 
we can also follow this. So it's pretty easy for you. So uh, uh, let's go back. So this is generally what you'll be looking at. And I believe by the end of this video, plus the other videos that are already in the course, you'll be able to make large projects with PHP that which is pretty much possible. So in this video, what you'll be doing is that we'll be looking at master relationship tables, how to link tables via the IDs, and how you are going to make that work and compile it together. As you can see, I never made the dashboard for this because in the video or in the course, we have looked at how to make uh, the, uh, dashboards, multi-dashboards for different users. So generally what we are concentrating on here is how we are making the logic uh, all together and make this work. So I'll leave the link to the course below and maybe if you like, you just join it and just check out everything that is going on there and hopefully it helps you somewhere so uh, that would be it guys and see you there